If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there. There have been 12 players that were updated in patch 7 for NBA 2K21 current gen. I don't know why only current gen this time. You'd think if they update a player to make him look better, you would think they would transfer over to next gen. But apparently not. Uh, like, And I'll give you some examples in a second. But... Que pasa to the pack? It is pack here. AKA your mama's best friend. And in today's video, I'm gonna break those down all 12 in a top 12 format. But before this video starts, be an OG, join the pack and subscribe. That would that would make me very happy. And you know what? You wanna make me happy, don't you? That's right. All right, so now I'm going to start off at number one. And this one's kind of just a honorable mention because it's a free agent. And I don't think anybody cares about free agents. That is Joaquim Noah. They made him very tanned. If if I don't remember correctly, he is not this um, burnt, for example. It's not even just tanned. He's, he's just burned, like orange. I don't know what they did to him. I don't know why they were so aggressive with this. But they did update him and gave him a lot more veins like Joaquim Noah has IRL. On top of that, the hair is a, it's a little more detail on it. A little like the sides, little curls like that. Giving us a realistic Joaquim Noah feel. It's very good. It's a shame he's basically not in the NBA anymore, but you have him all time, which is all that really matters in this. But again, they did make him kind of, kind of aggressively dark in this, at least in my opinion, right? But still, it looks solid. So at number two is someone that obviously y'all don't care about that much, but hey, you know what? I believe this player can be pretty good in time. DJ Wilson, they finally gave him his actual dreads. It's, it's correct. It's actually good they made him a little bit lighter and they gave him a brand new face scan making it as accurate as possible i do think the chin is pretty terrible in terms of hair like what what is that my guy that's like that's like a middle schooler trying to grow a beard that is that is terrible but besides that overall pretty good so at number three on the pelicans we have somebody that got a straight up something that they didn't have before they got a face scan and a hairstyle complete revamp is Wendon gabriel they gave him the headband they gave him the dreads like kind of pony tilt up and they gave him a face scan and it actually looks super realistic this is actually one of the better face scans i've seen very very good i'm surprised they even kind of gave him like the discoloration on his nose and his forehead give him some of acne over time like it's actually a pretty solid one the details actually definitely there i'm surprised this one hasn't been transferred over to next gen with the lighting there it's gonna look sick overall though it's good that they're focusing on everybody they can even if they're players they don't get a lot of playing time or, or not the most popular famous players that's good that they're focusing on players too okay so at number four on this list we have a fellow spurs player that you know has his games has games where he's bad and that's trey lyles big update for trey lyles so first of all they made his beard a lot longer and the hair a little longer with a fade and a brand new face gown with lighter skin tone yes sir very good i wouldn't say this is perfect but it's pretty damn close I, you know i'm not gonna complain when it's pretty damn close to be honest with you guys i'm happy with it it's solid it's pretty good i think the nose is what's like throwing me off a little bit but besides that it's solid um you know, i'm never gonna complain when it's the spurs player getting updated i'm a happy man so up next at number five we have a couple of mavericks players we'll start off at number five with dorian finney smith so first of all, they make the beard a lot longer and they kind of messed up his hair. I don't like what they did with the hair. Cause you know, look on the side, it looks like it has little like X's for hair. It's just wrong. But like overall, it's not terrible. I do think the eyebrow color is way lighter than the beard and the mustache itself so it's also kind of weird but for the most part this is pretty solid and you have to give it credit i also like that they get the detail on the scar on the eye so very good overall and they also give him the scars on his shoulders with the tattoos very good staying on the mavericks at number six okay we have maxi cleaver i want to show you guys maxi cleaver's actual one this time they made him a lot lighter gave him a little more hair on the beard without like the trimming on the bottom kind of like how i am right now kind of scruffy gang let's go overall though it, it's just a little upgrade they had the ears like detailed as well coming coming inward lighter skin uh there's a little bit of acne that they're adding to uh it's kind of unrealistic acne is just like orange spots instead of like trying to make it realistic but overall though i think it's okay enough for current gen right for next gen it definitely needs to look a little better than this so for the number one team record wise in the nba with the jazz at number seven we have mike conley all they did was update his hair back to normal how he has it now in the nba 
he used to have it kind of pulled back with i think dreads from my understanding and now they just have the short little hair on the top and that's it that's all they did for his hair no crazy change for him it's not like a face scan or anything just the hair and that's it all right so that's all so at number eight we have the hawks we have john collins so at the start of the season he had really short hair now he has longer hair and they've updated that plus a better face scan and that is super clean 2k I'm, you know you're doing a pretty good job even though it's current generation it looks solid i do think that fade is the worst attempt ever yeah not great and, and the hair low-key looks a little gray but it's probably just because of the lighting but overall it looks fine he does have he has a unibrow i guess he has a unibrow or at least he just doesn't shave it that much but overall this is a very very good version of john collins i'm impressed so for the magic we have at number nine james ennis a very very realistic face scan of him a lot of discoloration on his face but he does have a lot of acne as he's had before the hair is updated now they have little braids and the hair on the beard is a lot longer overall a complete overhaul for james Hennis. but to be fair he's had the same exact hair scan face scan and hairstyle since he's entered the nba so the fact that they updated him correctly is a big deal because it's about time we have a couple more we're gonna go to the kings down sound the kings for a little bit so we first we have tyrese halliburton at number 10 this one is a big deal because this one looked terrible on next gen you can see the side by side comparison a lot better now on current gen like oh my god it it's a lot better here it's still not perfect but compared to the one on next gen that one was pretty aggressive and terrible and even tyrese halliburton was joking on twitter like who is that and he's not wrong i mean this is so much better now complete overhaul from the hair to the skin color uh, the face structure all of it much better much cleaner much more accurate to Tyler Harold Burton and that's what you need staying on the Kings at number 11 is one we begged for for a while is the Aaron Fox he had long hair now he has short hair they fixed it on current uh, next gen now they have it on current gen so a complete fix for the Aaron Fox now for some reason they have missing polygons on his shirt I don't know if that's a glitch or not but maybe they need to fix that but overall the face the beard and the hair is perfect and finally one player that i've been asking for them to fix for a very very long time at number 12 we have the second best player on the celtics jalen brown it's still not perfect though i think it's better it's every time they update it gets a little bit closer but they still have the acne on the forehead which is accurate so they updated that the hair on the top of the head it has you know it's not terrible the beard is very very dark and thick but like unrealistically thick it's like too solid i don't know i don't know what they're doing with it but it still looks weird but it's better than it was before at least but still they're working on it all right i'm trying to give them that and that is it that is the biggest changes those are all the biggest changes on current gen i'll make another video about the jerseys next video but what do you think leave it in the comments below who needs to be updated and let 2k know and if you like this channel give it a sub and i'll see you guys next time if you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there.